It's crazy how society tries to put us in a box. They tell us to change and they criticize that change. This is my message to society. Listen, listen. The first step to being happy is trying to please everyone else. I mean, what's the point of gaining the world's approval if that gain means you lose yourself? It doesn't add up. So tell me this. Why do we care so much about the opinions of others that can care less about us? And even myself. I care so much to be like, then why? Just to impress people who could care less about my life? Just to impress people who won't magnify my flaws? Judge my imperfections as if mistakes are on the part of us all? As if we all never fail? We all struggle. And it doesn't make you better because you hide your as well. It doesn't make you better because you act like you got it together. Because me and you both know, if your walls can talk, they would say something different than what you let the world see. So shame my name, crucify me, pick me apart, but I'm through fear of your commentary because only God can judge me. If that's not an excuse, that's the truth. But what will you understand? That hating on others only means you aren't working on you. So work on who you are, because that's the person you're responsible for. And exposing someone else's battles won't do a thing to help you win your war. Giving pain won't heal yours. And it's crazy that it's imperfect people who we pretend to be perfect for, who we hide our purpose for, because we're so afraid to be labeled fake. Just because you made some past mistakes doesn't mean your future can't be great. Forget that, ignore the hate. And for the people criticizing someone else's path, well, I guess you forgot what God meant you at. I guess you forgot that you got a past too. But don't you forget this, God is my final judge, not you. I'm not here to please you, I'm not here to live for you. So if you get your high off of making other people feel low, then feel free to pick me apart. Because at the end of the day, your words, your hate, your opinions, your criticism, your whatever, can't stop this purpose. Because God knows my heart. And can't no hater stop God's favor. I said can't no hater stop God's favor. Straight up. It's rehab time. Let's get it.